So I'm going to show you how to inoculate sawdust bags. We're going to use pink oysters. Um, I've already prepared the workspace. I've gotten rid of everything that I don't need. I've sprayed down the whole area with rubbing alcohol and let it dry. And I've just sprayed my hands all the way up to the elbows with alcohol. I'm loosening the lid so that I'm not going to be fumbling once the project is really started. I'm not taking the lid off, I'm just loosening it. Uh, at this point, I'm starting. I'm making sure that I never touch the inside of the bag, so I'm going to open it carefully and slowly, because I don't want to rapidly suck air in, even though I'm using a flow hood. I want to reduce the amount of air that I'm sucking in and the disturbance that's happening. Um, before going on to the second one, I'm going to inoculate this one. Uh, it's a little difficult to see, but I am holding my jar horizontally and rolling it with like a half turn of my wrist. I'm just allowing the grains to fall out. I'm not shaking them. I'm not dumping them. I'm allowing them to roll with, with a very gentle left-right half turn of my wrist as to not disturb skin cells or just the air in general. And so I'm going to just lo loosely fold this back up with the, the the folding that it had during the pressure cooking process. I'm moving on to the second one. Same thing, I'm going to do the half turn rolling of my wrist, but this time I might tip a little bit more because there's not as much grain in. Um, I'm not shaking, I'm not dumping, smacking. Uh, I made sure that I loosened up all the grain before I got started, because uh, that can be a problem. You don't want to be stirring up air by shaking the jar while you're working with bags open. I'm putting the jar away. Now I'm just going to get ready to seal them. Moving the first one away to make uh, space. I'm just carefully folding it back up as the manufacturer had it, trying to trap as much air as possible, not touching the inside of the bag in any way. I also am trying not to disturb the sawdust because I don't want it to fall into the area where I'm sealing. I'm trying to seal it near the top of the bag so that I have as much air space as possible. And I'll just hold it down until the uh, sealer stops working. Uh, now I'm going to maybe do a quarter inch gap between my second sealing just for good measure. And I'll call that one done. That one's safe. I can set that aside. And this one, same thing. I'm just going to try to trap as much air as possible. with the sealer, making sure there's no creases or f extra folds. And then we'll do another sealing, maybe a quarter inch in. So now we're going to see why we trapped the air. Because I'm going to start breaking up the sawdust, trying to spread out the grain spawn. Um, the reason we're using grain spawn is because we want to spread out lots of inoculant inoculation points evenly throughout the bag because um, otherwise it could take a long time for the inoculation the mycelium to grow from the top all the way down to the bottom and so we want to spread out those inoculation points evenly from top to bottom inside outside in order to speed it up if we have fast colonization colonization it's going to outrun contamination if it's slow you're more likely to have yeasts and bacteria and molds grow faster than your mycelium. Uh, I just tamped it down a little bit to make sure that there's good contact between the sawdust and all the, the grain inoculation points and set that one aside. And I'll do this again. Um, this bag got stretched out a little bit because it was up against the basket inside of my pressure cooker. And so the, the plastic bag is really um, brittle and kind of thin in some areas, so I'm just being really careful not to break the seal that I made and also not to rip the bag or damage even the manufactured seals. Uh, so I'm breaking it up, moving it up into the loose um, air compartment in the, in the top of the bag, breaking up the bottom, and I'm going to try to roll and spin and, and try to get the grains evenly spread throughout the whole thing. It's similar to... Um, rolling a, a grain jar where you where you want to go end over end but it's a little more difficult because the container is uh, 
is more fluid, it, it moves. So we just press it down and we're done. Subscribe to the channel to see videos as they come up and find us on Facebook at Mushroom Cult Pro. Let us know if you have any questions or any ideas. Give us a comment below. Thanks.